Welcome to the How to Reset the Autotex Estimating Claims Manager Password Webinar. When you have forgot your password for Autotex Estimating Claims Manager, you can use the Forgot Password link on the landing page. However, you must set up a valid email and challenge question in My Settings for this link to work. Note the email address and security challenge question and response are required as indicated by the red asterisk. If these fields were set up, then click the Forgot Password link. However, if these fields were never set up, please contact Technical Support at 1-866-420-2048. Type your Autotex Estimating Claims Manager user ID in this field and then click the Submit button. The challenge question is shown here. You can type the answer to the challenge question here. If you do not remember the challenge question or you are not sure of the answer, you can alternately type your email address here. Keep in mind that you should only use one of these fields, not both, as this will cause the reset to fail. Once either the email or challenge response is entered, click the Submit button. In this example, I've entered the email address. So long as the email matches the email in My Settings, you will get a message that states an email will be sent to you. The email will provide you with a temporary password as shown here. Go back to the login page and type in your user ID and the temporary password provided in the email and then click the login button. You will be prompted to type the temporary password in the current password field. Now type a new password in this field. Keep in mind passwords must be 6 to 30 characters with no spaces or special characters. Also note that this password cannot be the same as one used for the nine previous passwords. Retype the same password in the Confirm field and click the Change button. You are then taken to the Password Success Change page. Note that you are prompted to update the My Settings page. Click the Continue button. This will take you directly to My Settings. Again, ensure that you have completed all mandatory fields, which are marked with a red asterisk. This will ensure that you can reset your password in case it is forgotten or lost. Also note that you can change your password anytime by coming to the My Settings page and selecting the Check Here to Change Your Password checkbox, and then typing the current password, and then typing a new password. This time, I'll quickly run through the steps for answering the challenge question. I'll type my challenge question response here. Remember, I'm only going to answer the challenge question and not enter the email address. That way, my reset does not fail. Next, I'll click the Submit button. This takes you to the Change Password page. Just as before, I'll type a new password that is between 6 and 30 characters with no spaces or special characters. Again, remember you cannot reuse the last nine passwords. I'll retype my new password in the Confirm field. And then press the Change button. As before, you will be taken to the Password Success Change page. Note that you are prompted again to update the My Settings page. Click the Continue button. This takes you directly to the My Settings. Ensure that you have completed all mandatory fields, which are marked with a red asterisk. Again, this will ensure that you can reset your password in case it is forgotten or lost. Again, note that you can change your password anytime by coming to the My Settings page, selecting the check here, to change your password checkbox, and then typing the current password, and then typing a new password. 